I'm so glad you discovered us, and if you're into healthy living, you're at the right place. I'm Chad Hudspeth, founder of EndlessFoodSystems.com and a fifth generation farmer. You may have seen us on National Geographic TV. We've also been on the Fox Business Network and several magazine covers uh, as well as radio shows. I grew up on a dairy farm drinking raw milk when it was still legal. And by the way, I've never had a cavity and only been sick a handful of times. I also ate at my grandmother's house often and I can still remember the way that that food tasted. Now, of course, she was a great cook. But I think one of the things that made it so good is it came straight from her garden in the backyard. She used to say to me, I only fixed what I thought you would eat. Now, of course, that was a green light for me to have seconds. But you know, it could be that one of the reasons that food tasted so good is really because it came from her garden and it was grown in a non-depleted soil full of vitamins and minerals. And this knowledge has got to be shared. It has the ability to solve most of the major health problems in the United States as well as end world hunger. This growing technique uses fish to power a garden. Here's how it works. I'll start with one of our Edens. This is a small indoor kind of a decorative system, but it explains very easily how aquaponics works. So there's fish down here in the bottom of this tank and the fish do their thing in the water. A pump brings that water up and creates this fountain effect that constantly runs. The water then flows through these clay pebbles and the plants can absorb the fish waste and use it as a food. And so then what happens is the water is returned clean back to the fish again. You never have to clean the, the fish tank and you never have to clean your pebbles. A fish powered garden uses about 90% less water than a soil garden. That's because you're constantly recycling the water in the system. The only thing that's lost is to evaporation. In a fish powered garden you can plant more densely and plants grow much faster sometimes twice as fast. So what you wind up with is a production of about five to eight times per square foot in a fish powered garden than what you can get in soil. So this is our large system. We have a 300 gallon fish tank and we pump that water into the same type of a pebble grow bed where our plants are at. And then as that water is filtered through the pebbles, it runs into a raft bed, which has styrofoam rafts where the plants sit directly in the water. And from the raft bed, the water flows back to the sump tank and the process starts over again. It just goes on forever. Once again, even in our large systems, the only water that's lost is to evaporation. So it uses about 90% less water than a soil garden. Because these systems are so compact, you can grow outside in a greenhouse or you can grow indoors in a spare bedroom or garage. This is a self-contained ecosystem where you control all the inputs. Why is this important? Because now you can avoid the main cause of health issues. You see, food from your backyard endless food system will not contain any pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, all the bad stuff that's on most of our foods that we buy from the store. You can also grow non-GMO foods, that's genetically modified foods, you can grow heirloom plants. And you know, when you go to the grocery store, there's about two or three choices of, say, tomatoes. But that's not the truth. You see, there's hundreds of varieties. In fact, just this morning, I got a catalog from uh, one of my seed companies. There were four pages of tomatoes to choose from. Half the fun is just picking out what you're going to grow and then see what it tastes like. Supermarket produce is generally grown in depleted soils. They're missing the trace minerals. And why is this important? Well, vitamins interact with minerals together. You can't have one without the other. So it's very important that our bodies get the minerals that we need from our food. The problem with buying supplements and taking vitamin C off of a shelf is it's missing a lot of the other things that it needs to operate. Ascorbic acid is what's called vitamin C, but that's not really what it is. That'd be like me giving you a steering wheel and saying, here's your new car. It's missing a lot of elements. What makes a fish powered garden so powerful is you can add those trace minerals into the system and keep the insecticides, pesticides, and GMOs out. What does this do? This gives you a superfood that's charged with all the vitamins and minerals that your body needs to naturally absorb them and use them the way that God created your body to work. So a few more advantages to growing this way. You have elevated grow beds that are off the ground. No more bending over, no more weeding. That's a big part of soil gardening that makes it difficult. 
Some of the hardest parts of gardening are knowing how much to water and the right kind of fertilizer so that your plants don't suffer. With an endless food system, all that's taken care of completely automatically. The plants have all the water and food that they need 24-7. Our modular kits are easy to put together and very easy to maintain. In fact, come out every day, feed your fish, check for bugs on your plants, make sure your pumps are running, that's it, less than three minutes. The fish are an important part of the system. Not only are they the engine that really powers everything, but you're growing unpolluted, mercury-free, radiation-free, fresh fish at your fingertips. Have you ever gone in your grocery store to look at their basil? You know, they've got a lot of fresh herbs, very expensive, but they usually only have one kind. I usually have about five or six different kinds of basil growing all the time, but rarely can you find more than one in the store. This could be a cash crop that you could grow and sell to restaurants or grocery stores. You know, in looking back at our past customers, I was surprised to find out that the largest percentage of people that purchased our kits were doctors and nutritionists. Also a large part were people fighting cancer and terminal diseases because these folks have found something out. What you put in your body and the quality of that food is very important. The more I learn the way our food is grown and processed here in America, the more convinced I become that growing your own food is the ultimate health solution. Not to mention that being able to control your own perpetual food supply could be extremely important. In light of what's going on in America, it just makes sense to me that most of my food comes from the backyard and that I don't have to depend on a supermarket to provide for my family. It's our goal for you to not only become food independent, but also for the knowledge of these systems to go around the world. It's only then that world hunger could be abolished forever. This growing technique is exploding across America, and who wouldn't want to improve their health? Empower your body to heal itself eating vitamin and mineral rich foods that are not contaminated with insecticides or genetically modified organisms. By now, you may want to learn more, so just click on an option below and join this food revolution.